Really be looking for the youngster to step up and play some big minutes this year for the Blue Devils. It's, they're not the biggest team in the world down low. Second shot's off the mark, no good. Rebounded by number 32, Prog, who just checked into the game for Cookville. Thank you, Jet. Heel with a long two-pointer off the mark, no good. Slapped around, Beetle grabs it out of the middle of the air. And he brings the ball across half court on the left side. Gets it to the left elbow to Bridges. Oh, nice cut by Vance. As he puts the shot up, no good, was bumped on the shot. Had Manning down low, didn't see him. Oh, and a great, great way. Great job by Bridges to slap that ball out of bounds. Straight to Coach Kyle. Good hands, Coach. Cavaliers inbound the ball. Hill has it up top. He gets it across over on the left wing to Houston. He gets it back up top to Hill at the top of the key. They'll set up their offense. He goes one-on-one -on -one against Bridges. Wide open three in the corner. No good. Beetle with another rebound. He pushes the ball quickly. And they're going to call something here. Not quite what. I believe it's going to be on Lebanon, whatever the call might be. I think they might have got Manning down low for a forearm. Trying to make a little bit of room. That no, was on 23. Excuse me, Sloan. Is now 10 turnovers apiece for both teams. I think that might be 11 for Cooper. We'll find out in just a moment. Hill, 11 for both teams, actually. That was close. Hill has the ball on the right wing. He'll try to set up the offense as Lebanon's in a man-to-man -man defense now. Switch out of that 1-3-1. One, one. At the free throw line, Rogue, number 32, I believe they're going to call a foul on him. Checking into the game for the first time for Cookville is number 10. Henry Chase, a junior, six foot two. Cookville stays in their man-to-man. -man. Bridges with the ball, drives in the middle, keeps his dribble alive, gets it over to Vance on the right wing, looking to get it down low to Manning. Can't do it, picks up his dribble, cross-court pass to Beetle. Long three from the corner, no good. And Houston comes away with the rebound, gets it over to Hill. 15 seconds left to go here in the first half. 24-23, your home team leads. They get it across... Get it up top to number 15, Houston, and he's going to walk, and Lebanon's going to have time for one more shot as they lead 24-23. 6.1 seconds left to go here in the first half. Cookville's going to call their men up and put some full-court pressure on the Blue Devils, trying not to give up anything easy. Oh, and a great pass by Beetle. Oh, oh, no. Come on, Manning has the ball. Shot is blocked. Rebounded by Cookville. Beetle gets the ball back. Kind of batted around. Manning tried a little... Behind the back shot there at the end, couldn't do it. Lebanon leads 24-23. It's halftime here at Lebanon High School. Glad you could join us here on Blue Devil Broadcasting on this Saturday morning. You're listening to the December 4th Friday night matchup between Lebanon High School and the Cookville Cavaliers. Lebanon leads 24-23. We will have your scoring halftime wrap-up. I guess I shouldn't call that a wrap-up. Rundown. I like that better. Scoring rundown from Jet Thompson here in just a moment. Stay with us. 24-23, Lebanon leads. <laughs> I am now joined by Jet Thompson with your scoring wrap-up as the dance team does a fantastic job down low at halftime here of your Lebanon Blue Devils versus Cavaliers ball game. 24-23, uh, halftime lead. Jet, how did we get here? All right, starting with Cookwell, Mitchell Hill, Blake Houston, each poured in six points. Matt Phillips with five. Logan Turhagen with three, and Matt Evans with two. And uh, for Lebanon, it was Cameron High, seven, Ryan Beetle, seven, Justin Bridges, four, Justin Manning, two, Case Sloan, two, and Phil Vance with two. Foul shooting, Lebanon was three of five from the line. Cookwell was five of six. Turnovers, Cookwell, 13, Lebanon, 11. Rebounds, Cookwell actually leads that stat, 14 to 12. Lebanon had four steals. Cookville had two steals. Assist. Both teams each had two assists, and both teams each had a block apiece. And once again, you scored halftime. Lebanon 24, Cookville 23. All right. Thank you, Jet. Earlier in the first contest, the Lebanon girls uh, 
pulled out a win, 40 to 35. They led that entire ball game, commanded the majority of it. Cavaliers came back late. So the Blue Devils will try to make it a sweep tonight of the Cavaliers as they lead 24-23. We will have your second half action in just a moment. And welcome back into Camel Brandon Gymnasium as we get ready for your second half. Your Lebanon Blue Devils lead the Cookville Cavaliers 24-23. Looks like we'll have the starting five for Lebanon. That's Beadle, Manning, the sophomore high, Vance, and Bridges. For Cookville, the same starting five as well. Weatherholtz, Fitzpatrick, Hill, Houston, and Evans to start the second half. Lebanon gets the ball in to Bridges. Picked up by Hill. Cookville in a man-to-man -man defense. Gets it to the right wing to Beadle. He gets it back to Bridges. He'll take it to the top of the key. Tries to drive. Nothing there. Gets it over to Beadle on the left wing. Into Manning, gets it back to Beadle on the left wing. And we're going to get a push call on Cookville underneath. That's going to be on Evans. Lebanon inbounds the ball, gets it to Manning, back up top to Vance, over to Manning on the top of the key. Get it down low to Beadle, his back to the basket makes a move. Jumper in the middle of the paint, no good. Almost rebounded by Lebanon. Kugel retains possession. Hill brings the ball across half court. Gets it over to Houston on the right wing, back up top to Hill. He works the middle, gets it over to the left wing to Fitzpatrick. He drives the middle, picks up his dribble, hands it off to Hill. He drives to the left side. Nowhere to go. Brings it back out top, drives back. Gets it back out to 15. Houston, who skip passes it. Get it to the right wing, back to Houston. He drives to the middle with his left hand, and they're going to call it carry. He had kind of a high dribble there, reached up and palmed the ball. Twelve turnovers now for the Cavaliers of Cookville. Bridges bringing the ball across half court. He's picked up as soon as he gets there. Cookville staying in a man-to-man -man defense. Bridges picks up his dribble, gets it to Manning. Back over, excuse me, now to Manning, now to Bridges. Looking for high down low, can't get it there. Beetle for three at the top of the key. Buckets. Great looking shot by Beetle, nothing but the bottom of the net. Lebanon leads 27-23. Hill gets the ball across half court. Lebanon in a 1-3-1, that extended 1-3-1 defense, trying to trap the ball. And a walk by Weatherholtz over here on the right wing. Good pressure by Lebanon. They love that 1-3-1 half court trap, that extended 1-3-1 half court trap as they try to get that defender as soon as he gets to about the volleyball line. 15 turnovers now for the Cavaliers, uh, 11 for Lebanon. Vance with the ball on the right wing, gets it to Bridges. Three-pointer on the left wing, no good, rebounded by High. Gets the ball, gets it back up, off the mark. Cookville has the ball and they're in a hurry. Got a two-on-three situation and a off-balance shot by Weatherholtz. Fitzpatrick somehow comes out there with the rebound and gets the layup, 27-25. Manning with the ball, he drives to the left. And a layup. He is fouled by Evans. And uh, Manning will go to the line. Justin Manning, a senior guard. His first shot's off. No good. I think he's technically classified as a post player, but he plays out top a lot. Lebanon likes this rotating offense they have where everybody kind of gets to touch the ball up top. Second free throw is good. High, the sophomore, really the only one that stays down low. As Houston brings the ball across, gets it over Weatherholtz on the right wing. He brings it back up top to Hill. He tries to get it down low to Houston. Pass is broken up by Bridges. He gets it across to Vance on the left wing. Back up top to Beetle at the top of the key. He tries to swing it over to Bridges, not there, brings the ball back out, picks up his dribble, now gets it to the right wing to Bridges. He fakes left, goes right, and is fouled before he gets the shot off. Lebanon's going to have to inbound the ball underneath their basket. Cavaliers will probably be in a man-to-man -man defense as Beetle steps out to inbounds the ball. Cookville is in a man-to-man. -man. Fitzpatrick face guarding. The inbounds pass. Get it to Beetle on the right wing, trying to get it down low to high. Nothing's there. Now they get it down there. Power dribble, 
Shots up, and he's going to be fouled before the shot. Really impressed so far with Cameron High. Nice, strong player down low for Lebanon. He's really stepping up. Lebanon don't really, does not really have much down low presence. Sloan, also a sophomore, getting some playing. There he is. Nice pass into Manning as he gets the left-handed layup off the inbounds pass. Lebanon extends their lead to five. Long three-pointer for the Cavaliers off the mark. No good. Rebounded by Bridges. And he'll bring the ball across half court. Gets it to the right wing. The Beetle wide open. Three. He shoots, and it is in. Beetle heating up here with two threes. 33-25. Lebanon trying to push this thing out a little bit. And Kukul says they want to talk about it. Great way to start the second half here is your Lebanon Blue Devils lead with just five minutes to go in the third period. 33 to 25. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back as Weatherholtz and the Cavaliers look to inbounds the ball. They get it to Hill. Excuse me. Yeah, that is Hill. I was right. Get it back over to Weatherholtz on the right wing into the corner to Phillips. He head fakes. Tries to get it down low to Chase, who just checked in the game off Lebanon. And Weatherholtz will inbound under his own goal. Lebanon in the 2-3 zone. Get the ball out top to Hill. He drives to the left. Nothing there on the left elbow. Now drives to the middle. Nothing there. Gives it to Phillips at the top of the key. Swings it over to Weatherholtz on the right wing. He drives middle. Hop step. Not there. Stolen by Manning. And he's going to go the distance. Coast to coast. Great strip by Weatherholtz there to save a, save a layup. And the possession is going to stay with Lebanon. Great hustle by Weatherholtz to get in there and strip that ball. As Manning looked like he had an easy layup. Beatles going to inbounds the ball. They set a pick for Vance. He goes to the corner. Nothing there. They get it in to high his layup is good great little hook shot there for Cameron Cookwell drives gets it in the corner to Weatherholtz he drives back to the middle brings it out top Beetle putting some pressure on him gets it over to Phillips on the right wing gets it down low to Chase they swing it back up top to Weatherholtz at the top he drives middle left-handed layups off the mark no good I think we're going to get a push call on Lebanon Weatherholtz not a very tall guy but Pretty stout. Weatherholtz 5'11". I think they might be giving him a few inches there on the roster, but he's got to be close to 200 pounds. Big boy, probably football player. Shots on the way. It's off the mark. No good. 35-25. Lebanon leads by 10. With four minutes and 21 seconds left to go in the third period. Glad you could join us here on Blue Devil Broadcast as we bring you Lebanon basketball action here on this Saturday morning. Weatherholt's second shot is on the way. And it's off the mark as well. Beetle gets the rebound. And he'll bring it across half court. Vance gets the ball. Top of the key. Sets up the offense. Lebanon goes into their set. Drives the left wing. Passes over to High on the right wing. Tries to go down low to Beetle. Does. And Beetle's going to get a foul called. Houston putting a forearm in the back as Beetle had him posted up. Number 33, Sloan, set to check back into the game. He's going to give Manny a uh, Manning a breather. As Beetle sets the inbounds under his own goal. Kugel down a 2-3 zone as opposed to their man. And then they break into a man. Great looking pass into Sloan. Gets a shot blocked. Number 12 on the corner hill. He drives to the middle. Left-handed shots off the mark. No good. Great rebound in there by Chase. As he comes flying from the left wing, grabs the rebound, gets fouled on the putback, and he'll go to the line for two shots. Justin Bridges picks up his second foul. As Henry Chase, the 6'2", junior guard, misses his first free throw. He'll have another one coming. Sets his feet. Shot is up. And this one's on target. 35-26. Nine-point lead for you, Lebanon Blue Devils. Bridges has the ball. Brings it across half court. Has Beetle over here on the left wing. They crisscross.